Out to our Fox 5's Eric Perry, who's in Athens where that crash happened. Eric, you're breaking down what we know about the crash and what Carter's saying about the allegations. Yeah, good afternoon, Tom and Courtney. Uh, Jalen actually tweeted out from his personal account to thousands of his followers there saying he got the call learning about the charges this morning. He says he's on his way back to Athens where he will fight the allegations. He says once the facts come out, he believes he'll be exonerated from the crime. Jalen Carter is headed back to Athens after what should have been a day of celebration. It's a day now marked by criminal conflict as he prepares to surrender to Athens Clark County Police related to a double fatal crash. Athens Clark County Police issued two warrants for Carter in connection with the January crash that killed UJ football player Devin Woolock, staffer Chandler LaCroix, and injured two others. According to investigators, alcohol impairment, racing, reckless driving, and speed were were all factors in the January 15th crash. Police say they believe the cars were racing. Fox 5 obtained this 911 call, one of many from the night of the crash. Hey, take me. Yeah. Yeah. The owner of this hey, you might just go ahead and go to go, yo. is not responding to their phone. The emergency yeah. location is. Yeah. You can hear a male voice apparently talking to someone. He calls first JC, then Jalen. The person speaking appears to urge JC to leave the scene of the accident. Police reports indicate both vehicles switched between lanes, drove in a center turn lane, and drove in the opposing traffic lanes at high speeds in an attempt to, quote, outdistance each other. Hours after the school held a celebration for the football team's second consecutive national title. This surveillance video from downtown Athens minutes before the crash shows two cars at a red light that match police descriptions of the vehicles that were allegedly racing. You can see one of the cars speed away quickly when the light turns green. Toxicology reports indicate LaCroix's blood alcohol level was 0.197 at the time of the crash, more than twice the legal limit. Police say they have evidence showing LaCroix was driving at just over 100 miles an hour Hour, moments before the crash. The case against Carter will be handled by the Athens Clark County Solicitor General's office. Yeah, and you're taking a look now at what Carter sent out via Twitter in a statement saying, in part, it's my intention to return to Athens to answer the misdemeanor charges against me and make certain that the complete and accurate truth is presented. He goes on to say that there is no question in my mind that when all of the facts are known that I will be fully exonerated of any criminal wrongdoing. We also heard from UGA head football coach Courage B. Smart. He called the charges deeply disturbing. He also says that they are still mourning the loss and deeply impacted from the loss of those two staff members and players there. That one staff member and one player from that crash, he says they will cooperate fully with the investigation. As for as a timeline of when we can expect to see Jalen Carter turn himself in, it is unclear. But of course, we're monitoring the story around the clock and we'll bring you updates as soon as they become available.